Well, welcome, folks. Uh, this is Tony Howard here with Astrology University, and I'm here to tell you about a really exciting new event we have coming up called the Fresh Voices in Astrology Summit. And today I have Cassandra Tyndall with me to talk about a lecture that she's going to be presenting for us. So welcome, Cassandra. Thank you so much for having me, Tony. Awesome, awesome. So, um, Cassandra, I guess if we could start by just telling people a little bit about your background and your approach to astrology and, and where, you're, where, you're, uh, where you're from as well. For sure. So if it uh, is a little bit confusing by my accent, yes, I'm from Australia and uh, I live in Brisbane. So I have a full-time practice here in Brisbane and I combine that with consulting, uh, client sessions, teaching and writing. So when it comes to my approach to astrology, I guess I sort of combine um, modern astrology with traditional techniques. So when I first started learning astrology uh, back in uh, early 2000s, it was modern psychological. Then very much in the early part of my studies, I started discovering some uh, ancient techniques and I just loved it. And so I really felt that that kind of honed in some of my accuracy took out a lot of the guesswork. So I guess my approach to astrology from there has been uh, more traditional tools, but using those tools to, in a more of a modern way. So, uh, you know, in a way that can help clients, basically. So that's the, uh, that's the approach that I use, yeah. I like it, I like it. I mean, we know any of us who've read some of those traditional books, I mean, you definitely don't want to tell somebody that, if they have a certain placement, they're going to be attacked by dogs in the market. <laughs> <laughs> I personally like the one where you're going to be held up by bandits. <laughs> right? Yes, exactly. Yeah, so definitely <laughs> translating it for, for modern folks is a good approach. So um, cool. Well, awesome. So uh, it, your, your talk for us is going to be on Saturday, July 21st at 7 p.m. Pacific time for those who want to tune in live. Uh, just so you know, the conference is free to watch live for 24 hours each day, so for a total of 48 hours, you can watch the conference uh, at no, no charge at all. You can sign up today at freshvoicesinastrology.com. Just head over there and pop in your email address to sign up, and then you'll get the links to watch the live broadcast. And Cassandra's uh, lecture will be presented on Saturday, July 21st at 7 p.m. Pacific time. And her lecture is entitled Predicting with Perfection. So Cassandra, tell us a little bit about what you're going to share with folks. Sure. Well, as I was saying uh, early in my studies, I discovered these ancient techniques and annual perfections was one of the first ones that I came across. So I have a bit of a, uh, a sentimental value with those. And so the aim of this lecture is to show how perfections work in real life. So uh, in a nutshell, it's making uh, for each year, it puts a certain planet in rulership or sort of governing the experience of that year as a broad brushstroke. So in this lecture, I really want to give this as a tool that you can use as uh, in addition to other predictive techniques you might already have in your toolkit. So it's an addition. It's not trying to reinvent the wheel or anything like that. Uh, and this lecture, we're going to really sort of dive into some charts where not only do we work out the experiences that this person has under one particular perfection, but also how that tone or that pulse or that the overall theme changes when they then have a birthday and then enter into a different planetary rulership period. So hopefully at the end of the lecture, you'll you know, have some new, um, new angles or new perspectives on this technique and something that you can apply to either your own life or the lives of uh, the clients that you work with. Awesome. And uh, as I understand it, Perfections is one of those tools that, it, although it sounds technical and difficult, if you haven't heard of it before, it's actually the opposite, right? It's so simple, at least at uh, an entry level perspective. And it's something that you can, uh, as I said, combine with other techniques. So if you're really into solar returns or secondary progressions, or even other techniques such as uh, Fedaria or other sort of time lord systems, you can use it as sort of like a, um, a testament or a testimony to what else is going on in the chart. So I find that it just helps to hone in the theme for uh, the year ahead 
or uh, the month or the week or, or you know, depending on how deeply you want to go into the technique. But for the purposes of this lecture, we're just going to look at it from an annual perspective and see what's at the helm for a given year in a person's life. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, thanks for uh, presenting for us, Cassandra. I'm so, I was so thrilled when I uh, extended the invite and you said yes. So really excited to have you presenting for the Fresh Voices in Astrology Summit. So if you'd like, yeah, if you'd like to uh, (laughs) sign up, folks, head on over to freshvoicesinastrology.com and just pop in your email address and you'll, you'll receive the links uh, as soon as they're ready. And you can watch the live event on July 21st and 22nd, 2018. So hope to see you there soon. Take care.